thought that this thing I wanted to accomplish was gonna make me happy and I accomplished it and I'm not happy. So the bigger thing we need to focus on is how can we take these big ideas we have, break them down into small bite-sized pieces and start biting those little pieces. But here we go, but here we go. What's up you guys? I'm Kirsten, welcome to Kirsten Naturally. I wanted to make a quick video for you appropriate around the five minute range because today's video is going to be about why and how doing just five minutes or even just one minute of something a day will absolutely change your life. I have been reading a book. I actually just finished a book called Atomic Habits. I listened to it on Audible because Doug gifted me Audible for the holidays and I took some notes on it and I wanted to share with you guys one of the most impactful parts for me, which was just taking a habit that you want to bring into your life. Let's use the example yoga, right? I got my yoga mat out already, why not? If I wanted to start doing yoga every day, rather than challenge myself to do yoga every day in the more traditional sense, how can I break down that habit of doing yoga into the tiniest possible thing? And I mean tiny, like one downward dog or one five minute yoga session. And the five minute yoga sessions are all over YouTube. In fact, Yoga with Adrian has a few like wind down quick um, nighttime yoga sessions that are like five minutes or 10 minutes. So even if you want to follow a video still, you can do a really small amount. And why does this work? The main reason that doing the tiniest amount of something works in order to create a long-term habit out of it is that humans are problem solvers by nature. We've evolved to solve problems, but something we're really, really bad at is doing extra hard work. We evolved to do the smallest amount of work possible to conserve our energy so that we would be able to find food and water and sustain ourselves. So it really makes sense that we value spending as little time and energy on things as possible. But in our modern world today, that's not necessarily appropriate for what's going on for us, but we can use that to our advantage. So if you take that five minute task or that one downward dog or that one push up instead of I need to hit the gym every day or I need to do yoga every day, what happens is you are bypassing that evolutionary part of your brain that physically wants to convince you to skip the hard thing, which is whatever that new habit is. It's unknown. We are just always afraid or nervous about the unknown. It's so normal, it's so natural. So don't beat up on yourself for being a procrastinator or somebody who says they wanna start a new habit, but maybe they haven't done it yet. That's okay, that's really normal. And the way we can get through that is by breaking it down in these tiny bite-sized pieces. Now I've talked about in my How to Become a Morning Person video about five minutes of your MIT, your most important task. And this kind of builds off of that. The more that I read this book, Atomic Habits, the more that I learned that we are hardwired to want to skip big tasks that we're not used to doing. And that's what new habits are. They're big tasks that we're not used to doing all the time. So it's instead of fighting against the grain and going against the current, the better way to do it is to use what you've got and kind of manipulate your brain to work for you and manipulate your evolutionary obstacles to work for you. So instead of looking at yourself and saying, I want to do this habit this year, I want to work out every day. Maybe can you make that this year? I want to do one push up every day or this year. I want to go to the gym for five minutes every day. Now, some days you might end up at the gym a lot longer than five minutes. That's awesome. But you're only telling yourself that you need to do five minutes. And this way your brain looks at it as an extremely easy task that anybody can solve. Anybody can do one to five minutes of something even if it's really difficult. We all can get ourselves to do that. So I challenge you this year, 2020, and the rest of them to stop beating up on yourself and start finding a way to work with what you've got and work with your brain uh, as a human being. You can do one to five minutes of something. You can do one push up. You can do one downward dog. You can read one page at night before you go to bed. You can save $1 from every paycheck. And I know it seems like it's really small, but that's the point. You wanna do these really small things so that eventually a year down the road, you look back and 
you say, wow, I actually did that thing every day. You're not gonna be beating up on yourself saying, wow, every day I only did one minute of it. Every day I only did five minutes. That's not what your brain's gonna be saying. It's gonna be saying, wow, I did that every day and it actually wasn't as hard as I thought. And so from there, you're able to add on more and more and get your habits to become more hardwired and less of a daunting, scary thing that we need to look at as difficult and unknown. I want you to feel empowered this year. I want you to feel empowered every day, all these years. This is your life. You've only got one of them. And the best way to be is easy and loving on yourself, not hard on yourself, not beating up on yourself. Because if you're not gonna love yourself and if you're not gonna give yourself a chance to try new things and to be able to just do a little bit of something to give it a shot, how can you expect anybody else to be easy on you and love you and allow you to take chances on yourself and give you a shot? You have to do that first. Love yourself as best you can and realize that, look, we're all in this together, dude. Everybody's having ups and downs. Even the most successful people have very low downs and don't know what's wrong with them and they think, wow, I really wanted to do X, Y, and Z by this time and I haven't. Or I thought that this thing I wanted to accomplish was gonna make me happy and I accomplished it and I'm not happy. So the bigger thing we need to focus on is how can we take these big ideas we have, break them down into small bite-sized pieces and start biting those little pieces. That's how we're gonna start building big habits is by starting at the little atomic level. Gain these small daily bite-sized habits and one day before you know it, you'll be the person you dream of being. You're already good enough, you're already capable of doing these things. You just have to learn how to get past the obstacles in your mind. So I'm here for you. If you need any advice on how to break down your specific habit into something you could do really small, hit me up in the comments, dude, I wanna help you. And if you like this video, I hope that you subscribe and comment below because it makes my day to hear from you guys. I love responding to comments. I love being connected with you guys. You're my fam and I love you guys so much. So I can't wait to see what you guys accomplish in 2020 and even if that's only five minutes of the most important task every day you're killing it dude i'm so proud of you and i can't wait to hear from you guys see you next time bye